Uh, good day, Onefinity users. Just going to do a video here on the second version of the probe macros I've written. Um, this one will be a little closer to carbide uh, in how it works. Um, only one measurement of tool on the tool change and one at the beginning. Uh, this is based on Makita router set on the lowest uh, slider point, three quarter inch waste board. I've pocketed out a little hole for my uh, probe to sit in. Um, due to the many different possibilities and configuration of spindles and slider height, you may have to adjust the Z heights in the macro. Uh, feel free to message me and I'll try and help you out as best I can if you want. Uh, anyhow, let's uh, go ahead. I've already set zero uh, X, Y, Z. And uh, so the first thing we're going to do is just click the play button like we would on any other file. So it's uh, immediately going to head on over to do the probe. So we've got a dialog box, attach probe, magnet, click continue. Let's set the probe in its little hole here. Let's just give it a quick little blow. Get the dust out of there. Shouldn't really matter. Okay, so that's in there. Magnet's on. And we'll click continue and we'll see what happens here. Sorry for my poor videographer skills. Uh, not really my thing. So it's going to head down and uh, touch off on the plate there. So what this is doing is just taking an initial measurement of uh, where that bit is touching the probe. And now we've got a pop-up, remove probe, magnet, click continue. Let's go ahead and do that. Magnet's off and we'll hit continue. It's going to come over to XY0 and head down to the Z safe. Turn the on, click continue. So that tool pass done. It's going to head back over to the probe. Pop up on the screen. Remove dust boot, change tool, attach probe, click continue. So we'll do that. So in this case we're going from something with a bit of a, a longer stick out to something shorter. Um, this has also been written for kind of a maximum of a two inch stick out on the bit. Um, I don't think many people will be using anything longer than that, but uh, it's just what I went with because I don't think there's a lot of bits out there for these little machines that would be too much longer. Uh, so bits in. Probe's on, let's click continue. So again, it's gonna seek down, find the probe. It's a little bit slow, uh, just based on, it's best not to use a feed rate above 100, I'm told, or so I've seen uh, on a few different areas, different people's posts and stuff. Uh, so when you're going from a long bit to a short bit, it takes a little bit longer. So it's touched off, it's headed back up to uh, close to the very absolute top. Dialog box, remove magnet, replace dust boot, click continue. So we'll take the magnet off, click continue. Back to XY0. And, and then as usual, pop up the roof up to speed, click continue. Path 2 is done. Back over to the probe. Uh, same pop up as last time. Remove dust boot, change tool, attach probe, click continue. So we'll do that again. Uh, this time I've got a upcut um, spiral bit. Regular. I think it's probably, I think this one's actually a three flute. Uh, so we'll see how that works out. It's going from a shorter stick out to a longer stick out. And we'll click continue again. Uh, once we put the magnet on, don't forget the magnet. So it's again seeking down to find the probe. The wire's in the way a little bit, but uh, anyway, you get the point. 
you could change the values a little bit to speed this up, but uh, I just wanted to keep it on the safe side. Okay, so it's found the probe. Dialog box, remove magnet, replace dust boot, click continue. Let's do that. And continue. Back it comes to zero. Uh, I've got your regular off the speed dialog, dialog box, push play. And there we have it. Three boxes cut, uh, three different bits. O five nine. O six O five. O five nine five. Pretty darn decent. Um, thousands of an inch difference on the three. Uh, probably, you know, a little bit of error in there just due to hand measuring and that, but uh, it's good enough for any pieces of wood I cut. Anyways, feel free to message me with any questions. Uh, do my best to help you out if you're wanting to run this macro and running into some issues. Um, you know, obviously it's kind of a do-at-your-own-risk thing uh, with the various different configurations of the Onefinity. It's not really a one-size-fits-all, uh, but it should just require playing with the Zs and the, uh, the co the XY for where the probe is may vary a little bit depending on where you want your probe. Uh, but these are all fairly easy to figure out and change. So anyway, uh, feel free to message me and uh, hope this helps some folk folks out that were asking about bit setters.